All right, this should be a really quick tutorial. It's actually a super easy thing to do. All you have to do is you have to grab the effect color change and it's under color correction if you can't find it or change color, not color change. Uh, drag it onto your clip and then you just want to find where you get the kill and look at the uh, damage number. And then you just want to come down to change color on the left. And then where it says color to change, you just want to click the little pipette next to it. And then you just want to click on the color of whatever you're trying to change. And then you just want to play around with it to see if it changes that color. And there you go, it perfectly changes the color. So now we're just going to keyframe it. You just want to go to where it starts coming up. So right here, I'm going to click hue transform and then keyframe it at zero and then come all the way to the end where it leaves the screen. So right there, you can't see it anymore. You can use arrow keys if you really want to go frame by frame, but it doesn't matter too much as long as it's off the screen. And then just increase the hue. I'm going to go to a thousand and see what that looks like, but you just want to play around with it until it works. So I'm just going to show you what this looks like. I'm too bad, but just been on okay, so now as you can see, a few of the a few of the colors stop working halfway through. This is because the color of the um of the number changes. To fix that, you just want to drag on a second change color effect, and you just want to find where it stops working properly. So right here, and then you just want to click on the little pipette, and then click on the uh, color again, and then just copy the keyframes again from the thing. So go back to the start, put it on zero, go back to where you got the keyframe for the next one, put it on whatever, and then just keep having a look, see if it works. So that looks like it mostly works. There are a few little things that are like rough around the edges. You can just do, you can make that work by increasing the softness a bit. So I'm gonna slowly increase the softness just a tiny bit. And that's making it work a little bit better. And there you go. That is how to change the color of the, uh, of the kill. There are a few things that you need to know when you're doing this though. For example, if you have the color of the kill being the same as the colors of stuff around you, then it might it might change those colors as well and you'll just really have to play around with the tolerance and the color that you click on and just make sure that you're changing the right colors and stuff and if it does get really bad you might have to mask it but that's why you just really need to pick the right clip to do it on so for example i picked this clip because this is like the only proper yellow that's in the clip other than maybe that right there which uh, you can see is getting changed if you see right up on the right middle you can see that color's getting changed because it's meant to be yellow but yeah, that's not, that shouldn't be noticeable in the clip. But if there's something that really is noticeable, then you can go ahead and just uh, use a different clip or you can actually just try really hard to make it work. But I just recommend using clips that look right. So for example, the ramps change a little bit, but really it's hard to notice. So this is what it looks like altogether.